Hello and welcome to SBR Stew YouTube channel and welcome to half past five in the morning uh, from uh, sunny Coventry. Uh, this morning I'm going to drive from Coventry to Bolton which is about two hours uh, hence why I've left stupidly early. Uh, so yeah I'm just about to leave, drive two hours, get up to Bolton and I'm going to do a couple of loops of the, the bike course. So let's uh, get the drive out of the way and I will see you in Bolton. So for all of you that are interested in service stations, which I know a lot of people are, I've stopped at Nutsford on the M6. Yeah, uh, sort of two out of 10, wouldn't recommend stopping here again. But, uh, it was okay for a nature break and that was about it. So yeah, I've got about 45 minutes left to do on this journey. And yeah, we'll be there, ready to rock and roll, start riding my bike. A bit more awake than I was uh, about an hour and a half ago. So I've made it to a random car park in Bolton. Uh, parked the car up, got the bike ready. Got my arm warmers on because I thought it was going to be a lot warmer than it actually is. It's a little bit chilly. Uh, so my plan is I'm going to go and do two loops. The first loop I'm just going to go and ride. I'm not going to do any filming. Uh, I'm just going to ride it just to, for my own sort of knowledge. Uh, and then I'll start doing some filming on the second loop. So yeah, I'm going to take it nice and easy, nice and steady. There's no plans to smash it. Just climb every hill nice and steady. Just, yeah. But no effort in really just just get around it's uh, i just want to see what the course is like is it as bad as what i'm hearing or is it easier than what i'm hearing so yeah let's go and find out and i'll let you know on the second loop so that is lap number one done yeah uh, i absolutely crawled around there because uh, i feared it because i've heard all these horror stories the surface is terrible it's really really hilly uh so yeah i really crawled around so i'll, I'll put the stats on screen i think it's something like 14 mile an hour or something uh, but it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting. Uh, so yeah, my legs feel really good. I've done a lap nice and easy. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a slog. Don't get me wrong, lap, end of lap two, lap three. It's gonna be a heck of a slog uh, getting around there because it definitely is hilly. But there's nothing on there that is gonna cause you too much trouble. There's a couple of little steep ones, uh, but the rest are just long, sloggy things. Uh, but there's some good downhills. Uh, so yeah, just come back to the car, I'm going to refuel, uh, then I'm going to head out into the second loop and what I'll do is I'll point out a few of the things that I saw uh, on lap one and uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, we, we sort of keep that speed maybe a little bit quicker. We're definitely quicker than our race day. Uh, yeah, 14 mile an hour is uh, really, really steady but yeah, I, like I say, I feared it because I've heard all these horror stories. The surface is, yeah, 90% good and there's 10% where it's a bit junky and a bit horrible. Uh, it's not as bad as what I've heard. Uh, it's no worse than any of the roads that I've ridden on at home. So yeah, I'm not too worried about the surface. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, get refueled. Let's head back out and uh, let's go and uh, see, see, see some of the route. So you might be uh, looking at speed going, God, it's only 14 point whatever mile an hour, but what I gotta think is I've started and stopped every traffic light, every crossing, slowed down for everything. Yeah, so it's uh, on a closed road circuit, you're gonna gain a mile, one mile an hour, two mile an hour, just in closed road. So yeah, don't be put off by that speed. So this is what Bolton's all about, look. Long, sloggy climbs like this. Not particularly steep, but they just sort of go on and on and on. But yeah, just, I'll turn you around now to have a look at this. Just goes up like that. So if you get a small gear, take your time, you'll have no issues at all. Avoid the potholes, people. Especially on the inside of this corner, like that. So for me, this next climb I'd like to show you is the hardest climb that I found on the way out. You've got a Sort of short, steep hill behind me here, full of ruts and potholes. I'll put an overlay on now, so you can see where to avoid the potholes. And then you sort of come round, it's probably, I find it's the steepest one. I don't know what this hill's called, uh, but what I'll do is I'll find it on Strava when I get home, and I'll show you uh, sort of what it's about, and I'll uh, yeah, just wait for all these cars to go around past me. So yeah, none of these cars will be here when we go. So yeah, I'll just show you here now. So up there, it just sort of zips on round, up through the corn, up through the trees. It's, uh, yeah, I found it to be the, the hardest climb. It's probably the only climb 
I think on the first loop that I got into the, the little ring, uh, everything else kept in the big ring. Uh, but yeah, obviously I've made this 10 times harder because I've actually stopped here rather than keep rolling. But I thought I'd show you this one uh, to grind up it. So let's uh, go and get over it. There you go, someone's about to just go up it now on his TT bike into the little ring lot. Yeah, I don't know if any of you see that, but yeah, he went down straight to the little ring at the bottom of it. So yeah, I didn't even bother with the big ring. And here's a guy coming the opposite way now. Bit of speed, you can see how fast he's come down there. There you go. That's how steep it is coming down there, how fast it's come down there. So this is a point where you've got to be super careful. You're going to come down an A road down here. You're going to come flying down. You're going to be doing sort of 30-40 mile an hour down here. And you're going to turn into Longworth Street. And as you can see, it's all cut up. It's all cut old lot everywhere. So yeah, as you come around this corner, you're going to want to take the time. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be coming off on here because you're going to come fast down here. So yeah, take your time, people. Look after yourself. Uh, yeah, you need to finish. Uh, so yeah, you're going to lose a bit of speed around here, but yeah, you're going to stay up right. So yeah, Longworth Road, off the A Road, nice and steady around this corner. Cause this is just horrific. And I'll show you a road that's even worse than this further on. So this next descent I'm about to do, it's uh, probably the steepest, uh, probably most technical. And then at the bottom of it, there's loads of potholes, loads of white markings. Uh, what I'll do is when I get down to the bottom, is I'll uh, stop again and I'll film the pole so you can at least, at least see how they're marked up and have a look. It's uh, yeah, it's not the best road surface, but it, this sort of, sort of connects one to the next and then we sort of head on. You can see the cars down there, sort of, we go back on that road down there. So yeah, I see all they've used it, but yeah, it's certainly not the greatest road. So yeah, let's get down and let's get down it safely. Here we go. There we are, I've stopped to have a look at them. You, I don't know if you can see that, they're all marked up, look. All marked up. So I don't know if anything is actually gonna happen with these. They're just marked up, just so we can sort of try and avoid them. It'll be a bit better when the road's closed because you can sort of avoid them, you can go the opposite side of the road. But yeah, this is this is the worst bit probably. Then it goes down a bit and then it gets even worse. So yeah, it's... Uh, Make sure everything's tied up on your bike. Make sure your bottles are in. Make sure your cages are all sorted. It's, uh, yeah, you don't want anything rattling out. So yeah, secure everything. Cause yeah, the state of this is just, yeah, horrific down here. Here I am, Smith's Hills, Dean Road. I think I am just being cruel really with this one. Sending us down the hill to come back up the hill just to get some mileage in by the sounds of it. I've already done it once obviously. So I'm going to go down and then come back up. Uh, a chap's just coming up, uh, so we'll catch him. Uh, but yeah, fast down, turn round, come back up it. Yeah, just to chuck in a bit more elevation. So yeah, thank you very much, Iman, for, for doing that for us. Uh, really thank you for that. How was it? Really good. <laughs> Loves it. It's nice, that one, actually. <laughs> so we get to go down this hill. So you'll do about 40 odd mile an hour down it, and you'll do about four mile an hour up it. So. Yeah, it's uh, just a cruel one, I think. It's uh, psychological, this one. Yeah, not particularly steep, uh, just a long, draggy one. Well, they're all long, draggy ones, really. There's, there's only a couple of little steep ones, but yeah, most of them are just long, draggy climbs. Uh, yeah, my legs feel pretty good. I've not smashed it round today. I've just sort of cafe ride it round today, just to see what it's all about. Uh, so right, let's get this done, let's get down. Let's get back up it, and then, once I get back up it, all I've got to do is go down there. I could just miss this bit out and just go straight down there, really, couldn't we? But it's, uh, yeah, let's get down it. Down, done. Now we've just got to go back up it. So, yeah, here we go. Look. Slugging away back up it. Yeah, just uh, nice and easy. So as I slug up it, someone comes flying down it. A bit quicker down than up, look. And there's more, look. And more. 
Here they all come, here's another one lot on the way down. And so uh, more fun going down than going up. So loads of people out on course now. A bit later in the day. Lots of people knocking around, Smith Seal Dean Hill or whatever it's called. Loads of people on it, so yeah. Be shit on lap three that one. Yeah, I think I'll be uh, crawling up there, that's for sure. Be glad to see this road on the third loop, heading back into town. Because you know, you're about to go off the bike and get on that run, so. Yeah, it will be nice to get off the bike after the third loop, I'm sure. It's going to be a bit of a crawl fest. So I'll never get back to the car. I'll get changed, and then I'll give you my overall summary of uh, what I thought of the course. Yeah, so this bit's lovely, lovely and flat. So yeah, you'll enjoy this bit three, well, three times on the route, so. All changed, all done and dusted. I'll put the stats up on screen of the second lap that I did. Uh, it was a little bit slower because I got a chance to, to quite a few locals uh, and a few people on route. So yeah, it's a little bit slower. Uh, my legs feel the same as they did as I started. So yeah, they're no more tired now after doing two loops they are at the start. So yeah, nice and steady today. Uh, in summary, uh, what do I think of the course? Yes, it's hilly. Uh, it is slow. It's uh, you're not. There's no power climbs. There's lots of long, draggy ones. There's a couple of steep ones. Uh, nothing unmanageable for anybody. I think if you take it nice and steady, you're going to get round, regardless of what speed you're going at. Take it nice and steady. Pace it. Uh, yeah, expect. There's no flat bit. It's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, yeah, there's there's some decent descents in there. So yeah, enjoy them. It's. Uh, I've learned that I, it, it's not as scary as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be horrific. Uh, I was a bit worried before I came up here. I was, oh, will I get around? Will I not get around? After riding two laps around that, I've got no doubt I'm getting around that. It's uh, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a slog fest. Yeah, three times up them same hills. It's just going to be a killer. Uh, going to be absolutely crawling up them. Uh, absolutely crawling up, I'm sure. But it's doable. It's uh, yeah, it's a decent course. And one of the main reasons for coming up to do a bit of a recon round was to decide on will I ride my TT bike on my road bike. Uh, my bike handling skills aren't good enough uh, for the TT bike round here. And also, I don't think I've got the strength to push the TT bike up the hills. Uh, so there isn't any benefit to me riding on the TT bike round here. So I am going road bike. I'm going for the Aero road bike. I'm not doing it. E I'm not even putting any clip on bars uh, because there's no point. Do you know what I mean, I, I can get on them every now and again. But yeah, for me, it's just not worth it. I'd rather just smash it just on the hoods. Uh, I'm going to be much quicker on that. So yeah, road bike for me. Yeah, give us your thoughts. Are you riding on a TT bike? Are you doing it on, a T uh, on, your, on your road bike? Yeah, I'd definitely be interested in here, hearing what you are doing. So now I'm going to head, start heading home. I think I'm going to hit uh, the Golden Arches, I think, for some lunch at a service station on the way back. Get some calories back in me. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, if you've got any questions about the course, uh, yeah, drop drop me some messages down below uh, and I'll answer them as best as I can of my opinion of it. It's, uh, yeah, this isn't the be all and end all. Uh, I'm no expert, I'm just giving you my opinion. Uh, yeah, I think everyone's gonna be fine getting around it. It's, yeah, it's it's not quick. Yeah, as long as, you're, as long as you understand, you're not gonna be absolutely smashing it around at like 20 odd mile an hour. Well, some of you probably are gonna smash it around at 20 mile an hour, but yeah. People, an average cyclist like me, I'm going to be 15, 16 mile an hour. That's it, that's all I'm going to be doing. So yeah, as long as I get that in my head, that's all I've got to worry about. Long day out, but well worth coming to, to do a recon. And yeah, I'm happy, happy to answer any questions for you. So let's head home, let's go. Really bad news. I've got to Nutsford Services and they don't have a McDonald's. So I'm about to go for a Burger King. Uh, but the only trouble with Burger King is I never have it, so I don't know what to have. So. Yeah, it's a, a bit disappointed, but I'm still gonna stop my face uh, and eat that. 
uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to stuff my face. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, yeah, to see how I get on actually on race day. So yeah, this is just a recon. So yeah, definitely subscribe to see what I got on on race day. Hopefully I make it round and hopefully I make it to the run and have a good run. Uh, if not, it would just be a good video to see me fail, but uh, hopefully I won't fail. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.